Welcome back to Link Cable and Nido Foodie. I mean, Nido Cooney. I mean, Nino Cooney. If you get this close to lava in real life, you fucking catch on fire. That parsnip is hiding out in those fire plants, and you're right. You're right. Every single fantasy game thing has its problem. If there is a volcanic area, then... Stop bumping the microphone. I, I have to adjust my seat. Anyway, I, I know. I know that. I know. Really, though. My entire life is terrible. If you get yeah. that close to lava, you, you die. You need, like, a fucking tinfoil suit. I know it's not tinfoil, but one tin of those foil. No, big tin shiny foil. suits yeah, that's what you need. to get even Some sort of protection. nearly that close. I don't think... My, my cloak is red, but I don't think it's fireproof. <laughs> I mean, we are a wizard. I don't have a fire can we, can, cloak. Don't we have, like, a bridge spell or something? That's true. I wouldn't... Can I use it there? Probably. I would assume that's how you get over there. Bridge that. Oh, all right. <laughs> nope. It's probably something else equally obvious. Somebody's probably gonna come. Well, I don't think we have anybody watching currently who's like a Nido Cooney expert. So make yourself known if possible. Because we captured a uh, bonehead last time. Also. Oh yeah, we did. Oh, and a and a whatever the real whatever name. the fuck that thing is called. Yeah, whatever it's really called. But we named it Chipotle, which is a better name. And then our bonehead. Little, little big sword, I should say, the one right there. Oh yeah. Um. And we named our bonehead Hamstrings. Yeah. Surprisingly hard to come up with a name food related for that one. Relating bones to food is very difficult. And yeah. I know hamstrings aren't things that you eat, but whatever. It's got the word ham in it. Yeah. Oh, it shit. Have I just thought of a good name. What R is it? Rib cage. Could you eat ribs? Rib cage. That's, That's better. I feel like hamstrings is more characterful, though. Uh, well, hamstrings is, is very fitting for that, but... Do we use bridge here? Knickers! Try freezing it? Alright. Maybe we do that or in the other spot. Bridge. Oh. So, frostbite that fucking. Wouldn't that just melt? Um. It depends on how cold you get it, because. It wouldn't turn into a block of ice, if that's what you're asking. Dude, I'd fucking slip on that. Oh. Okay. That I just made it to a slightly bigger fucking rock. Fucking dangerous. <laughs> It's okay, Oliver. But now we have to... Whoa. Now it's a platformer that we're playing. Not really. <laughs> Drippy's face. Look at his fucking face. <laughs> Nickers, 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 Nickers. Oh my god. Well, no shit, Oliver. If my seventh sense is to be trusted, well... Fairies Three, cannot oh, be we're, do we actually have a timer? Fuck that. Yeah, whenever they say it like that, it means there's actually a timer. God, I hate. I hate arbitrary bullshit timers like that. Mr. Drippy knows exactly when this volcano is about to erupt, and he he means three minutes. Wow, there really is platforming. That's fucking. Yeah, but you, there's no way I can like make myself jump off. It's like well, I'm yeah. stuck to the wall. It's still dumb. A magical spell is holding me here. We really should just be able to use Frostbite to, like, freeze up all these cracks going on. I don't know. So, uh... I wonder if it's going to be one of those timers that persists through battles. That like, some sometimes in RPGs when there's a timer, it better it'll, not. it'll pause during the battle. But it might. I s suspect that it probably will. Here we go! It's not showing up right now, so... Alright, that's good. Alright, let's uh... Just, just to be safe, fuck him up with uh, Pasta Edge. Pasta has been doing pretty well for us. Pasta uh, In a pretty just... good contrast to what he yeah, started he out as. used to be useless, and now he's like a fucking monster. Like he, he did 66 damage well, in a was, regular hit. That was Go-Go, actually. Uh oh. Alright, well, never mind then. Well, he's been doing 23 regularly, but I mean, like... Go-Go's pretty good, Coming too. up to here. Yeah, presuming he has enough mana... Yeah, well that's the main issue, he just fucking guzzles mana, but... <laughs> he doesn't know the meaning of restraint, clearly. Alright, so we're, we're at 134 as we go into this battle, and I'll check it when we get out and see if it changed. Let's go! I, I really don't think it went below. You know, I just want to make sure. Alright, playing it safe today. Make sure. Well, cause fucking timers are bullshit. <laughs> I'm not really that worried. 
I mean, it is sort of a kid's game, so I can't imagine it's gonna be that hard, but... True. I like to be on the safe side. Uh, well, we already we, got yeah, one of those. Yeah, we have one. So, sorry you're dead. We don't need you! We did it! We should just have an entire team... Of Lemonadia? No. Oh. We should just get, like... Eight boneheads or six six <laughs> boneheads. I am the lich wizard. <laughs> and then I th I, my I undead mean, army. It's it seems like each creature. I don't know if you're right or not, but it seems like each creature has like two final evolutions because there are like four stages. Well, if you notice, before we were checking out the evolutionary uh, chain for Lemonadian, he had a branching path that could have went up and down. Yeah. So you can probably choose, although I'm not sure if there's like different um, star drops or drops, elemental drops that determine that for you, so it's just your choice. That's a good point. I imagine it's probably your choice because you know when you are about to give a creature the drop or whatever, you get that little window where you you have to actually specifically move over to the other one, I would assume. Right. Oh, Chipotle, uh, Chipotle can Oh, I was not evolve. paying attention at the end of the last battle and when the next one started. You're going to have to freeze that well. on the left. More lava on this volcano. Press A, it's still going, the timer. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. You have to face the lava. Face the lava. Well, that's oddly specific for the magic. I mean, you have to be casting it at the right thing. I'm you just gonna skip this. Facing directly away from it when you tried to just just run by. Alright. Alright, now you're just gonna well, waste some time. Waste well, it's not technically... It's wasting everyone else's time, but not the game's time. The enemy has the upper hand! I was just gonna run See away. See you, Esther. <laughs> Fuck these guys. Fucking get out of here. I can't wait until Bonehead... Is metamorphable though, because Bonehead has fucking sweet metamorphoses. Yeah, we checked out their uh, evolutionary chains in uh, Wizard Titanium. Sick as hell. It's great. I wish I had the opportunity to get the physical copy of that, even though they were very limited. And they were only in Japan. You can get them over here though. But I'm pretty sure they were only in Japanese. I'm just gonna make that assumption. I don't think so. I think it was part of the release. I for thought, uh, US. but I. I thought the Wizard's Companion w only came with the DS version. No, it was, it was a thing for Nino Kuni. Uh, yeah, just Nino Kuni. PS3 Nino Kuni. I don't know. Come on! Oh, I'm telling you. Well, I mean, like, it did It did come with the, the DS version in Japan. Oh, okay. Well, they probably just re-released it to the... Uh, As, like, a special... Yeah, no, yeah, it was a special limited edition, but... Yeah. Although I heard there were, like, some mess-ups with, like, the ordering and... Some people don't actually get it. That's weird. Yeah, they ordered it. Yeah. That's, uh, I, don't know. I guess that's not that uncommon, but that, that's kind of lame, I guess. Yeah. We got a planet drop. We're getting all sorts of drops now. Mm -hmm. I guess they just want us to do some metamorphosis heating. Except we never really got a planet familiar. So. Bluto, but fuck Bluto. Actually, no, he's a star, isn't he? Yeah, we don't have any planets. Here we go. Zero planets. Zero planets. I don't know, man. This volcano shit stressing me out. Getting a little tired of this volcano. Tired of your shit, volcano. Plug you up. Yeah. That's just some. I'm still not sure how we're supposed to. Yeah, how like, they're expecting us to. This stop is very the vague. You need to go climb this volcano and you just figure out how to just make that not be a problem anymore. I can't I can't do this stuff. I'm not. Small child, you, please take care of this problem for us. Even the Avatar this? couldn't do that. That's true. That is true. And that was a fully grown avatar. That wasn't a fucking Aang who doesn't know what to do. That was Roku. Mm -hmm. He's like 8,000 years now. He was that old. <laughs> exactly that old. He lived a little <laughs> past his years. Kind of cheated the avatar cycle. <laughs> Guys, I'm, just, I'm not really ready to reincarnate. You're going to have to hang on. <sighs> this show is good. I think we're almost at the top now. Better be, we only have 70 seconds. Fuck this! I, is that, I imagine that would just harm you if you got hit by it, because I can't I don't imagine think it would, it would like, off. knock you off. I guess I could try it, but... Don't. Please don't. <laughs> go, go, go. Go! Less than a minute. Fuck this game. Come on, Oliver. 
Uh, hurry your 12 year old ass up. I actually forget how old he is. He's 23. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's just a very youthful 23. Sure. <laughs> you don't know, man. Stop the old drippy clock. <laughs> what? So he was lying. God damn it! <laughs> what the hell was with the timer then? What would have happened? Wow. Fuck this game. <laughs> I just moved the timer. I was kind of like impatient. You guys just take it too damn long. So like would would the volcano have erupted if we just let it go or I don't know. Would it just have said like, Mr. Jippy's like just kidding or he's like you know what we should do? We should throw him off the mountain. We should just, throw just Mr. <laughs> We should plug the volcano up Mr. Jippy, with I don't his think body. It, I don't think it'll take 3 minutes to until you land at the bottom. This looks like a place where we would fight a guardian. Wide open area? Yeah, you betcha. Well. It's exactly like the end of the world. Yes, Esther. Yeah. What the f- Oh, we're gonna knock the boulder into the- It's conveniently, like, rocking. How cool. fucking convenient. <laughs> oh, well, no. That's the thing that was plugging it up. And it just happens to balance there. Sure. You came, boy. Oh, snap. As I knew you Aren't we a little uh, underleveled for Shadar? Tricky is slipping, sh sh Shadar! Shadar? Huh? <laughs> yeah. I have a little trial of my own. Oh, he's not gonna fight us yet. He's not just gonna get he's, rid of us he's as too a important. opponent. Ah! He's too important for that. Don't you know how villains work? They don't, they don't fight you until you're at least 40 hours into the game. Another fine example of the Guardian makes all of the things that you fight normally look fucking silly. Yeah. I've just been, I've been fighting some balloon monster. Oh my god! So I'm gonna go with my usual tactic and get the fuck out. Yeah. I'm guessing it's weak to ice. Hopefully he doesn't just like fuck up Gogo and Esther. Okay, that's you know, yeah, it wasn't short the range worst, spells. But I, it would be nice if Gogo would just like not stand right up in his shit. Yeah, alright, let's try that. Let's see what this guy can do. Moltan! Blazing breath. I'm gonna stand far away for that. Oh, it's just like Esther a, just an AOE. takes it. Tail flail. That's not something I want. That's close range. Yeah. I guess all of his attacks are close range. Wait, okay. Uh, Does he only have two moves? He probably is gonna have more later. It seems like. I don't know. It seems like you could actually attack him in melee pretty easily. You just wouldn't want to stay in front of him. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's Ganon. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, Ganon. So, uh... Just gotta get, get behind him, but he's attacking me, so... We'll just get mighty off and shit, and then just watch out for the tail flail. Alright, gotta get back. Okay. <clears throat> we can, you can... You make me... Except I can't really target the tail. You just, you have to run around behind him. Oh. Is all. You don't, you don't actually target the tail, and don't, don't stand on the fire, obviously. Good point. That was close. Fucking pasta ad this shit. But first, a frost plate. So this isn't so bad. No, it's actually kind of trivial. <laughs> Don't go through the fire. He automatically passed there. Man. Joseph, can't you tail flail, tail flail? You could just defend. No, nah, this is quicker. But then you're gonna have to fucking run a familiar back up. Not really. Just basically just teleports back. This doesn't really seem like a weak spot. That or Fox Dad might just not be strong against it. Can't. Can't attack. What? You're not close enough, tail flail. <sighs> so this battle. It's kind of boring. Yeah. But that's sort of a nice change. Oh, she switched up. She's not using Gogo anymore, at least. That's interesting. I wonder why. Let's get back here. No wonder he's doing one damage. Really? Come on. What are you, what are you doing? You just made her take a shit ton of damage by switching to her. She was already there, though. Okay. Just trying to bring her away. She's just gonna run straight back up. <laughs> you know what? All right, Esther. Just I'll will see you later. This game is ridiculous. 
Hold it. Ah, this is getting more stressful. This dude just keeps cheering, even though she's. Wait, going. did we not manage to defend? I did. Yet it just didn't really feel like registering. I guess. Oh, get the fuck out! Fuck out! Trying just against the wall, I think. Yeah, you're gonna have to actually eat something. Eat some foods. She's just resulting, or going back to her heart. I really wish we had some way, like, more reliable way to restore mana. Because it seems like, you know, everything goes fairly smoothly when we have mana, and then as soon as we, like, run out of mana, we're pretty much fucked. Because there's, like, no real reliable way to, like, mitigate damage. Yeah, it's true. You kind of just have to fucking take it. Oh, fuck. And then every time we manage to get, you know, I got a chance to set hit. and get into combat, he's like, oh, tail flail or volcanic roar. Fuck you guys. You know, Esther's probably dead. I'm surprised she isn't, honestly. Yeah, oh, yeah she, she is. She's done. Tail flail. GTFO. We need that mana. And the thing that's kind of funny is that it's actually, like, easier to do without Esther around. Well, she kind of just... Served to be a nuisance. Well, yeah, well, like I mean, a distraction, like, really. We, we basically just don't have to, like, worry about keeping her alive. No, let me do not. Run straight into the fire. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, this hitbox is bad. <laughs> Maybe that's, like, the whole mechanic, like, with the fire, but it just seems annoying more than anything. I feel like if you hit him with another. Frostbite, he'll die, but we don't have any mana. I'll just, I, I don't even care, I'm just gonna drink a nice coffee. Can we not buy those from the store? I think you can. Alright, one more. Should be good. Yeah, just like a, just a regular attack, and he should be done. I don't fucking care, fireball. Hopefully it doesn't heal him. Alright, good. Wonderful! What a thrilling boss fight. And now we're... It's a badass moment. For all of us. Whoa, what are you doing? He's just gonna nonchalantly make this decision to go, oh. Oh. Nice. Okay. That's heartless, Oliver. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Your character's changed. <laughs> and then he just says Nito. <laughs> Fucking heartless. Kills a man. Screams Nito. Alright, so we're gonna metamorphoses some dudes at the end of this episode. Just to uh, assume, cap this off. Assuming we don't have to fight Star or something. I doubt it. I think he disappeared after he summoned okay. Moltan. Moltan. The Earthmonger. Old Smokey is now just old. You saved Alma Moon! You know where I need ready to face him yet. Ho ho. Mm hmm. Oh my god. So... No shit. He just summoned the Guardian. So of course it was his fault. Jeez, Esther, get with the picture! No, no, you didn't. You didn't help at all, actually. <laughs> it's like, I think he was just trying to not, like... <laughs> Say that he's like, yeah, wow, Esther, you were, you were great. Really helpful back there. <laughs> oh, what is that? Convenient portal. Oh, I forgot that we were playing Legend of Zelda. Alrighty. All right, metamorphosis. Oh, I think That's, it is the yeah, creature cage. All right. Yep. Not him. Lemonade. Well, we can metamorphoses both. All right. Star drop. Let's, Lemonadian. Drop that star. He's, get, he's gonna get some sweet mutton chops. Aw, yeah. Go, go, go. Check this noise. All That's right. pretty fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Looks cooler. But anyway, the reason we didn't do this before is because it actually does um, de decrease their stats somewhat when you yeah. uh, metamorph them. It's true. Alright, so now... Chipotle? Chipotle? Is he a, he's also a star? Yes. Yeah, for, 
Why not? Do it, yeah. Turn him into a Look big how one. many more different attacks he can get. <laughs> he just takes his hands out of his... Whatever the fuck those are. He looks pretty much the same when he metamorphoses. He just changed color. Pretty mm -hmm. much. Pretty much, yeah. it's Pretty cool, though. So, whatever. Yeah. Alright, now, uh, go go. And I think Plumpet can also. Yeah, uh, one to the left. And then drop. Yeah. One drop. Alright. Strongo. Strongo! Will he look less stupid? Slightly. Let's find out! Maybe. Uh, it's about the same. About the same amount of stupid? It's pretty similar. Oh, Plumpet can also. Oh, uh, but we ran out of star drops. Oh, sorry, Plumpet. Damn it! Well, he's adorable anyway, so. That's true. His little dancing, but Esther never uses him because Esther is a cold hearted bitch. Well, she used him in the boss fight to no effect. Well, only after she had basically wasted all of her time. So. Uh, hopefully there's not a cutscene here because we should probably end our episode now. There's think? a cutscene. Of course there's a cutscene. It's an RPG, man. Of course there is. Oh, no, there oh, isn't. Oh, never mind. Alright, so that's, uh, Nino Kuni. Yeah, that is. Alright, see so you guys uh, next time. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nino, uh, Nino Foodie. Yeah, for monsters made of food. The game. <laughs>